What's up everyone, it's TurnerFan77, and I'm back with a new collection update video. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, so let's just get right into this, because I don't want to make this a long video, because I really don't like doing a long, really long video, so I'm just going to get right into it. First up is Scream, the new, the newest one. Um, I didn't want to pay, was it $25, $30 for the 4K when it first came out? I'm just done doing that. Unless it's a certain title, I will only buy day one. I'm not going to be buying everything day one. I'm just done over that. I want to save them as much money as I can and get as much as get more movies for cheaper instead of doing the $35, $40 steelbook bullcrap. So this was a uh, a cheap buy. I think I got it for under 15 I think it was under, I think it was at like 14 something. But yeah, glad to have this in my collection. Now, I am not ashamed to say I like musical. I love The Greatest Showman, and I loved um, the West Side Story remake. So I was excited. This is a blind buy. Haven't seen it. Got it for $10 into the Heights. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see this. And the next one, um, I wasn't really a big fan of this movie, but I have all the other ones. So the completest in me needed this one too to add to the collection. And that's Jurassic World Dominion. There is some great stuff in this there's great spots in it but overall this movie is just average now this next one is one of my favorite movies of the year and that is the northman if you haven't seen the northman do yourself a favor check it out next one is a steelbook it's a blu-ray steelbook not a 4k steelbook um and that is the ring i love the slip cover on this it looks like a vhs on the back it just has what a normal j card would and I love the design of this steelbook. There's the front, there's the back. And then I love the interior artwork of the girl sitting there. Plain old disc art, really nothing fancy. I hate that. It's, to me, that's laziness. But hey, who am I? I don't design these. And anybody that knows me knows that I'm a huge Tom Cruise fan. So again, this is another title I didn't want to pay. $30, $25, $30 for the 4K when it came out, and I didn't want to pay the overpriced for the steelbook, because I already have the Target steelbook of this movie, and the Target steelbook is a far better design than the new 4K steelbook of Edge of Tomorrow. I haven't watched this in 4K yet, so I'm anxious to get to it. And then um, the next one is a must-have for... It's one of my favorite movies this year. Too. I think it's my number two favorite movie of the year. I haven't decided the order of my favorite movies so far, but this one... This is the 4K steelbook of Top Gun Maverick. I was a little nervous. Um, UPS lost this. It's supposed to be delivered on Tuesday. And thankfully, this came undamaged today. So the next next three in my stack here are all Dollar Tree finds. Every now and then, I'll go to Dollar Tree and just see what, if they have any movies worth finding. Um, these are all blind buys except for one. Um, the Art of Defense. I own this digitally, but I have yet to watch it. But for a dollar, I'll pick up the... A dollar twenty-five, excuse me. Pick up the Blu-ray. I'm a fan of this actor, so I saw him right on the cover, and I have yet to see this. So, dollar twenty-five. And I own this one digitally and really liked it. So I, again, yeah, dollar twenty-five. Can't beat this to add to the collection. So that's it for this small um, collection update. And I hope you guys leave a comment because I'd love to hear your thoughts on these movies. And remember, hit the like, hit the subscribe, put your notifications on. And also, remember, above all that other junk, be kind to one another, and thank you for watching.